Hi, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and today we have shown here again. But this time it should be much easier because we want to introduce the Model 3 lithium ion battery, right? So uh, as you'll see in this chart we're going to pull up and show you. We did some, we did a lot of testing and this is just like some averages and uh, it compares a Model S battery with a uh, Model 3 battery, both OEM, and then comparing to those the OMU lithium battery. And so what you will see is not only do we get uh, a longer lasting battery in terms of just raw capacity when you say in amp hours, but also throughout the entire test period, you're also going to be operating at a higher voltage. So there's far less voltage sag. So for things like stereo systems and, and subwoofers, you're, you're not going to experience the voltage sag that, that tends to, to draw the power down and not give you as much output. Uh, you're going to actually have a higher operating voltage throughout the, throughout, the, throughout the entire time with this battery. So you open the front and then you're going to press your uh, vehicle icon on the bottom left. Safety and security. Power off. It'll ask if you're sure. And you say it's powering off. And it'll stay powered off until you push the brake pedal. Very simple. Uh, this top panel here is the only thing we have to remove on these one on these vehicles. And they just unclip. So you can come into the back corner and just work your way around. And then it's off. And then you have to do nothing else because we see already the battery here, right? Yep. So you'll just, then we'll, we'll also remove this air intake, which just has the same thing. It's four plastic clips that just pull straight up. Ah, that's the air intake for the uh, air conditioning uh, and yeah. air system. Yeah. So that comes up pretty easy. And now you've got 12 volt battery staring at you right here. So you'll just need a, a 10 millimeter wrench or socket wrench or however, but um, I'm just going to loosen this wrench. So this plate in the top center is all that holds the battery down. Okay, I'm gonna blend a little bit more better in. Come a little closer. So once you've gotten it loose enough, you can actually just twist it off to the side and then it'll, it'll come out. So, and at disconnect, first the negative off, right? That's what yeah. we have to say. Yeah, so first we'll take the negative side off. So there's no connection to the chassis from the battery anymore. And now you should be fine with the... Uh, Positive. Now this battery is really accessible now. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the other batteries you were hidden. Remember the original hidden. Model S. The original Model the S. This was the worst. Then you've got the Model X, X. which is pretty tough. Uh, and then the Model S, the later model Model S, that one's not so bad. It's still a lot more difficult than this. And then they finally got it down to just as easy as most cars. Pop the hood, remove a couple things, there it is. Um, on this side, you've got the, the breather vent. So you'll want to take that off because these lead acid batteries, are they, uh, they off gas. So they have to put a breather tube, which you don't need on the Same thing as we always do. We put the battery on it and it, oh, this is the biggest battery ever with 28 pounds. So even hi higher than the Model S battery. Yeah. So they're the then, biggest ones. And now we compare this to the uh, Model uh, 3 batteries from Sean from onmove.com and place it on and then going on top. And this is 11.5. Put, um, so we put these lead spacers on here. So that's, that's going to allow us to adapt. And that's for both the Model 3 and for the Model X. Okay. So the installation is really simple. It's just the reverse. There's a 
handle here so you can just slide it back in the same spot. You've got the same to hold down. So you have to angle it in. Yeah. And then you have to squeeze it over. Yeah, you might have to loosen it a little bit. To get both sides under. Okay, now they're both. So you want them both to be kind of flush and straight. Um, then tight, go ahead and tighten it down. You'll get it nice and tight. You'll see the battery is not going to shift anywhere. Then, then you know you're, you're good. Uh, then you're going to put your terminals on. And we'll start with the positive and then put the negative terminal on. So positive terminal first, doing install. Yep, and you're going to want to push it down as much as you can. Um, wiggle it back and forth a bit. You can loosen it a little bit. Yeah, you can loosen the connector. And then once you've got that down as, as flush as you can to the top of the battery, Go ahead and tighten it up. And then cover it up. Now we're going to do the same thing on the negative side. So when you connect, making your second connection to the battery, if there's some, if there's some charge uh, in the vehicle wiring, or you didn't do the power off, it's possible that when you make that second connection you could get a little bit of a spark. Um, it's not a huge deal. I mean, if it's a huge spark, and, and you, you can assess if there's a problem. But just a little bit of a spark between, between the contacts is not a big deal. There's nothing to be, to be overly concerned about in that case. Um, you just go ahead and install it all the way. Again, same thing. I'm going to loosen it up a little bit more so I can really get this terminal uh, or this clamp down low. And then we tighten it up. And then when you're making the second connection, of course, you want to be careful not to cross over and hit the, the positive, but you should have the rubber cap on the positive anyway, so it should be really difficult to have a problem there. And then uh, tighten the top as well. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Now we're just going to put everything back in place. First the air intake cover. Four clips. And just push in. And then your trim cover. So there's no clips along the back side. They're all across the front here. So as you're going, just make sure you go nice and firm across the front. And that's it. Okay. Good. So with the subwoofer, you definitely notice a difference in your sound. Um, I think anyone with like a high performance sound system, especially, should really, this is a great upgrade for their. Oh, that is a better song. That is Sail for an Owl Nation. Owl Nation. is that it can pull a whole bunch of amperage 
uh, what is needed for the sound system. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially that subwoofer when it's hitting bass. Yes, and that is the cool thing because it does not uh, fade on the bass uh, with the lead acid battery, right? That's right. Yeah, so you will also get better sound and the longer battery life. Yep, and the weight savings. Okay, and the weight savings. And so the smaller the car, so more the weight savings are. Okay, that's it, and uh, thank you for watching. Watch out next time, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up if you like that movie, and we will have more. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye.